Yes, everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. As always, it's a pleasure. Apologies if I sound a little bit stuffy. My nose is a little bit blocked, but I wanted to get another video out today. Before I get into it, as always, if you get any value from the video or you have any thoughts to share, please like, subscribe, leave any comments down below, and let's get into it. It's going to be quick today. So in today's video, I just wanted to give a quick, I would say, tip or two in advice on how to get yourself out of a depressive period. So recently, I've been really sort of changing my views on depression. I feel that in today's society, we're sort of now told that, oh, you get depression and it's this disease you get and there's no way you can get rid of it. So take this pill because that's the only answer. And to be honest with you, I just think that's absolute garbage. Now, I've been diagnosed with bipolar cyclothymia before. I've taken antidepressants before. But recently, my mindset shifted because what I've realized is You're in control of your mind. You have the power to decide or make good choices. So the tip that I'm gonna give you today is very simple, is if you're feeling depressed, well then you know what? You've gotta make sure that you make the right choices and you go and put that work in. It's very easy when you're feeling depressed to just sit around and wallow in your own pity, feel like you're in this dark hole, the light's getting smaller, there's no way of getting out of it, but it's all lies. It's all what your mind is telling you. And unfortunately, I feel that in today's day and age in society, it's allowing us to wallow in this self-pity a little bit more. So do you know what I do when I'm feeling depressed the next day? I make sure I put myself through an extra challenging day. So for example, I'll wake up half an hour earlier and I'll spend an extra half an hour in the gym. And during that extra half an hour in the gym, I'll make sure I go on the rowing machine and I beat my personal best for 500 meters. I'll do something which is extra challenging. Because when you do that, what you realize is that you're in control. You've got the power to decide how you act. And even if you're not feeling good, you still have the choice to act positively and to speak positively. It doesn't matter how you feel inside, you can still talk as if you're feeling good. You can still make positive choices. And I'm sure some people are gonna be sitting there saying, oh, you don't know how it feels. On those days I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, you can. That's what you're telling yourself. Go and push yourself. Go and smash a limit. Even if you just have an ice bath, anyone in the world has got the power to run a cold bath and get into it. It might be challenging. The first two minutes might suck. It probably will. But afterwards, you'll realise, God, you know what? My mind was playing tricks on me. I can actually do something that I thought I couldn't. You can actually get over your depression when you thought you couldn't. That's the message you want to send to, your sub send to your subconscious because you can, trust me. I've done it. When I'm feeling depressed at the moment, I just accept it. I keep making the right choices. I don't verbalize it anymore. I just, just keep on acting as if everything's good. I speak positively. My actions replicate a positive person. And do you know what? It shifts pretty quickly these days. That we're all going to come up against days where we're not feeling good. That's just life. But it's on the days where you're not feeling good that you've got to make sure you put that work in. Because if you don't put that work in, that's going to determine how your life goes and that's how you end up in a negative spiral. So when you're feeling depressed, push yourself to do something you think you can't and then prove to yourself that you can get out of that depressive phase. Because trust me, you can before people think, talk, or before you have the thought about you've got a chemical imbalance, I've talked about this in other videos, there was a meta-analysis by UCL, which basically completely put that, put that perspective in the bin about serotonin. We don't really know what causes depression. The chances are if you're feeling depressed, you're probably making bad lifestyle choices. But you know what, in my opinion, taking a pill is not the answer. Go and make, go and make the right choices and put yourself through a challenge and watch your mindset change. Anyway, uh, that was it for today. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a cracking...